Hello friends, welcome back to our channel Newbie Solution. Today I am going to show you uh, for the IT person as well as the agent how to operate the portal. So uh, for the IT person, whenever you are putting any, you know, the, you are giving any user access, how to give that access. Uh, let's assume here is a one user. Go to your server. Click on the agent login. Here is the asked phone login. Go to the admin section. Go to the phone. Here I have already uh, adding the two phone number. Let's add a new new another phone. As let's assume it's a two zero zero six. 006 let's copy it so this activity uh, always for your for your IT person and now you have to submit it submit let's add here is the Add option. I am using the soft phone as a micro SIP. It's a very good soft phone. I ever seen it's a very small in length. Put your server and here's I have already put my server IP address. Now I'm putting 2006 and the domain should be your IP address. The login 2006. Just copy your registration password. This is used for only soft phone registration. And paste here 2006. Now save it. Uh, now you can check. Here is the online, it's showing. Now go to the user and here is a, you can see the, the agent screen login it's showing 2006 and the login password is test. Let's go to the user account. Here is the as you already checked uh, on the phone settings there is a written the phone login and the phone password login password that should be here submit it now go to the user and let's type it in case anything mismatch the campaign will not showing here but if you were perfect all the the credential so that will be you know the it will show the campaign this is the inbound campaign so let's submit it the ring back you can hear the any issue the you are currently the only person in this conference so it will not happen and now add all for the inbound and then submit Whenever you are dialing any manual dial, it should in pause mode and you have to manual dial. If I'm putting my number, sorry, this facility is not available on your number. Please call customer care for more. So I'm not, you know, using anything any channels that is the reason it is showing and after each call you got the disposition list so you have to put the disposition list and here is one more thing if you have to you know the continuation process in in your manual dial then you can click here the pause agent dialing so here i'm putting the disposition now this is the active mode in active mode you can see you cannot do the manual dial. You must be paused to the manual dial. 
so here is the you have to pause again it will enable the screen okay <clears throat> so what are this another information of your uh, if you are uploading any leads there should be mentioned the, the address the title if you are you can check our another video also how to upload leads and if there is an inbound you can save the contact details as well as you can edit it and you can check the check the the, the contact details of your incoming phones number so here is a lot of options there uh, let me show you in next video how to park the call how to transfer the call how to hang up the customer and what is the dtmf mode thank you for watching Please continue our next video to watch more. I uh, know how to uh, how to operate your agent screen. Thank you.